unit 3 unit 3 is about steam turbines in steam turbines we have both uh, impulse turbine and reaction turbine let us start with impulse turbine this impulse turbine is again into two different type we have as simple impulse turbine and compound impulse turbine within compound impulse turbine we have velocity compounded and pressure compounded when we say compounding it is nothing but uh, different stages will be there in different stages if you are going to reduce the velocity then that turbine is called velocity compounded in different stages if you are going to reduce the pressure then that we call it as pressure compounded impulse turbine and to solve this problems on impulse turbine we are going to adopt a geometrical construction because when we are going to solve problems of turbine under different stages the geometrical construction is simple to perform the analytical calculation so therefore we are going to use a geometrical construction and we know very well that in any uh, turbo machine uh, problem we will be drawing uh, velocity triangles both inlet and outer velocity triangles we are going to draw in the case of simple impulse turbine or impulse turbine the blade velocity at inlet and uh, the blade velocity at outlet are going to be same that is u1 equal to u2 u1 or u2 refers to the blade velocity or you can call it as u also so this is going to be constant in the case of the impulse turbine even if it is whether it is a simple impulse turbine or uh, compounded impulse turbine the blade velocity is going to be same and uh, we have one more parameter called blade velocity coefficient this represents the ratio between the outlet relative velocity to the inlet relative velocity so that is omega 2 w2 and w1 are the relative velocity at uh, outlet and uh, relative velocity at the inlet and beta 1 beta 2 are the uh, blade angles at inlet and outlet and in the problem if they specify the blade is symmetrical uh, blade profile that indicates the blade angles at inlet and outlet are same instead if they specify different blade angles in the problem itself like blade angle at inlet is some value and blade angle at the outlet is some other value then your beta 1 and beta 2 are not equal but generally these two will be equal if nothing is specified in the problem then you can consider that beta 1 equal to beta 2 which indicates blade is of symmetrical profile so normally we will be calculating the power developed by the turbine and the efficiency of the turbine for the power developed by the turbine so this is the formula which we use right from our unit 1 this is what we are using m into u into cy1 plus cy2 this is your tangential component and this is blade velocity this is the mass product of the steam that is flowing and if it is a multi-stage turbine for velocity compounded turbine then we will be having let us say if you are going to have a simple case of two stages then this we have to draw it for first stage of the blade row and second stage of the blade row then the total power developed by the turbine will be m into u into cy1 plus cy2 this is for the first stage stage 1 of the blade row and for the second stage it is cy1 dash or cy1 prime plus cy2 prime so this is for the second stage of the turbine so together this is what is the total power developed by the multi-stage impulse turbine okay